Hey guys, what's up? So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new CoverGirl Colorlicious Lipsticks. I got mine from Ulta for about $6.99 a piece. Now there are 36 total lipsticks in this entire collection, which is a lot. So I'm not going to be reviewing every single one of those shades for you guys today because then the video would be like two hours long. So instead what I decided to do is pick out six that I personally really liked and wanted to share with you guys. I will be doing full swatches on my lips. I will be telling you about each shade where or what you can wear to and what I think about the lipsticks overall so if you guys are interested to see my review of the new CoverGirl lipsticks then definitely keep on watching This first lipstick is called Champagne, and this is their nude from the collection. I would definitely have to say this does have a bit of an orangey undertone to it. Now this is going to be something that is going to block out your lip color, so if you want a little bit more color on your lips, I would definitely recommend putting a lip gloss over top of it, but this is a really nice, warm, creamy shade. These lipsticks are incredibly moisturizing. I absolutely love this one, and I think it would look great on anybody. This next lipstick is called Kif, Kif, <laughs> Kiss of Peach and it also has a very warm orangey undertone to it. The only difference is this one is packed full of shimmer so it's going to really make the lips pop and look really really shiny. So if you are going to wear this I would definitely recommend wearing it with very simple makeup because your lips are going to stand out but this is definitely a fun shade to pick up if you want to try something new. And what I love about this one is that it doesn't dry out the lips. It is also very moisturizing. This next lipstick is called Guavalicious. It is a baby pink. And the first time I ever swatched this one, I completely fell in love with it and it became my favorite pink lipstick. I love how you can wear it every day, you know, like going to school, running errands, or you can wear it on a date night with like a smoky eye makeup. I mean, you could really do a lot of different looks with this lipstick. It is very versatile. Again, it is super creamy and moisturizing, but this is honestly my favorite pink right now. I absolutely love it and I would be so sad if I didn't have this in my makeup collection. This next lipstick is called Tantalize. I would say this is the berry shade from the collection, but it is very light. It does have a purpley undertone to it, but I could totally see this being worn as an everyday shade. I think what I love the most about this lipstick is that it really makes your eyes pop. Like, I just go straight to my eyes. Like, when I'm watching this footage right now, that is the first thing I see is my eyes, which is so weird for a lipstick to be doing that. You know, you usually think an eye makeup look would do that. Believe it or not, I, I usually don't wear purple lipstick but I really like the way this looks and I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of it. This lipstick is called Hot. This is the perfect true red lipstick. Valentine's Day is coming up guys and if you are on the lookout for the perfect red lip, I would definitely pick up this one here because it is going to actually stain your lips. I noticed that with these red shades from this collection, they really do stay on your lips all night long. I can totally picture this looking amazing with gold eye makeup, like a really shimmery gold and like cream eye makeup look. This is definitely a hot shade and it will draw attention. My favorite thing about this lipstick is the way it makes me feel. I feel super confident wearing it. Okay, so this last one is called Seduce Scarlet. It is my favorite one from all the lipsticks that I just showed you guys because it is such a beautiful, really, really deep red that almost has like a purpley undertone to it. Oh my god, this is just like to die for. This is such a gorgeous shade. Again, it is going to stain your lips because it is so deeply pigmented. It does have a little bit of a shine to it. I just, I love the way that this looks with just simple black eyeliner, or if I am going to do something more dramatic, I would smoke it out with a lot of black eyeshadow. Like, I love the way black looks with it. It's just, oh my god, it's so classy and romantic. If I could only choose one from the entire collection, I would probably pick this one. So that's it for all the lipsticks that I got. I am incredibly impressed with these lipsticks for multiple reasons. As you guys can tell, they are really, really shiny, but not like too much. 
because personally for me I don't like a matte lip I like a lip with some dimension to it and a little bit of shine and I feel like every single one of these shades that I showed you have that they are extremely moisturizing they are very creamy highly highly pigmented so much to the point that literally they stain your lips and you can't get it off because I was trying so hard in between each of these lipsticks to take them off to do the new swatches I didn't want the color to transfer to the next color um, and it was very hard to do it it was hard so if you're gonna wear these keep in mind it will stay on all night these are super long lasting so my overall rating would have to be a 5 out of 5 stars I really have nothing bad to say about these I think they're amazing I would recommend them to you guys and I hope to try more in the future so let me know in the comments if you guys have tried these what you think about them and if you have any colors that you would recommend that's it for my review hopefully you guys enjoy this and I will see you in my next video bye hi guys what's up hi guys today hey guys today I'm gonna be reviewing the new covergirl I'm just gonna be reviewing these six here that are um, my favorites oh! Um. this is terrible If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you want to check out my last one, this is a huge Ulta and Elf makeup haul that I did as my first video for the 14 day challenge till February 14th. And this is my friend Ashley's second video. You guys should definitely go check her out, subscribe to her channel. This is her January favorites. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.